regarding uh, the seat on the NC700X, um, again, I did one earlier uh, on the uh, C-Concepts low version seat that I put on here. And what I discovered was that, um, you know, it was a big improvement over the, uh, over the OEM seat. And with that seat, after about 50 miles, uh, my butt was on fire. <laughs> It just it just really hurt. It was hard to explain exactly why, but it just really got to be excruciating. And um, so with the C Concepts low version, it was much better, but still I was limited to about a hundred miles. I'd go about a hundred miles, and um, and that was it. I'd start getting that same old feeling again of the my butt just. I don't know, lack of circulation, I don't know what's really causing it, but uh, it was really uh, hurting. So um, I posted about this on uh, these bike forums, motorcycle forums that I go to, uh, the uh, nc700forum.com, I think it's nc700, no, nc-700forum.com, I think that's what it is. I'll put a link down in the... Uh, in the uh, description, but I put a uh, posted something about this in there asking for advice, and this one guy uh, posted about this stuff here. It's uh, it's called sit and fly seat covers, and um, it's like this. Uh, I don't know what this is. Some kind of um, <laughs> I don't even know what kind of material it is. Some kind of composite, but it's. Uh, it compresses, but it doesn't compress a lot. And when you're, the width of your whole butt is sitting on here, it will not compress it all the way down to the seat. And the, the advantage of that is that it lets air in here between the seat and your butt. And so there's always this uh, cool air going through there. And it just, it makes a huge difference. I just can't uh, believe what a difference it made. Um, I rode it yesterday about 125 miles or so, which which before was enough to really, you know, set me on fire. <laughs> but uh, no problem at all with this on there. It was just, uh, it was fine. I didn't have any pain. Um, so now I'm kind of wishing uh, maybe I sh should have uh, tried this stuff. Of course, I didn't know about it, but it would have been nice if I could have tried it on the OEM seat before replacing that because um, you know the C concept seat is relatively inexpensive for aftermarket seats but still it was about $180. Um, <clears throat> one issue for me anyway because I've got kind of short legs I have a 30 inch inseam um, is this this puts you a little bit higher up on the on the bike not much it's like something like nine millimeters higher but you know for me that uh, I have I have trouble flat footing the bike anyway so um, I had to lower the bike again I had lowered it before but I lowered it a little bit more after putting this stuff on there and and it's still fine it's uh, right now it feels good I can flat foot it and and uh, no problem there but for people who have shorter legs that's just something to keep in mind uh, most of these seat covers, or actually most after, aftermarket seats, uh, seem to raise it up quite a bit more than that. So, um, just something to keep in mind if you have those uh, issues, like I do. Anyway, this stuff—it's um, available uh, at a place in Oregon called ProCycle, and they are located in um, Springfield, Oregon, just just uh, right next to Eugene. And um, I, I happened to be over there camping about 25 miles from there, so I actually went over there and, and uh, bought some. Uh, but you can also get it on eBay. Uh, a, a Vietnam seller uh, sells it there, and actually that's where ProCycle gets theirs from, uh, from Vietnam. So, um, you know, you could go directly to... Uh, the seller on eBay and get it maybe a little cheaper, but still, you know, this this was like $25 for this piece. They come in, um, they make them for like long banana type seats, like for dirt bikes, 
the long skinny seats. And I guess they have a few that they actually split them up between the rider and the uh, pillion seat like, like this one here. Um, I didn't bother getting one for the passenger seat because I, I never carry a passenger. So I just got this piece and this is a small. Uh, they're not bike specific. They just come in, I guess, small, medium, and large. And this is a small. It's it doesn't fit perfectly. If you if you get this, you're going to have to, um, for at least for the NC700X, you'd have to uh, cut off. There's a bunch of excess that will be around here, the front end, around the back. You have to cut that off. You can you can cut this stuff. It doesn't hurt it. And then. Um, I just zip tied it all on there, uh, ran zip ties up on the bottom side of the seat pan so it runs all the way across like from here to here and across this way from one side to the other and to hold it on so it works out pretty well for 25 bucks to resolve my problem and I'll put links in the description. All right.